I was very conscious of like, well, you should go in this direction more, this direction more. But for me, I am just myself, and that is many things. You can't really tell me, oh, you should stick to this type of sound. We want to hear you do like more turned up song. I have that here and there, but you know, for the most part, I'm just doing me. So you can't really just, you know, tell me I should try to do more of this or that. For the people that know me and know my personality and my whole catalog, they know that it can go anywhere. <laughs> I came up with the hook first. Fist of Cuffs actually start just doing doom, 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 doom. And I just kept saying, ah, oh, hop on a dick like a maniac. Hop on a dick like a maniac. Head like a brainiac. Uh, uh, yes. When my friend heard maniac, she like was like, oh my God, like this reminds me of like how you were in elementary school. Second, third grade, we had these nicknames. And so my best friend, her nickname was Freaky Deaky. And my nickname was Freaky Deaky Junior. We just were like out of control when it came to like language and the stuff we would talk about. My older siblings were always like teaching me, you know, about stuff that I shouldn't have known about. And I used to go to school and like do like nasty, like I would like take smoothies and like, I don't even want to like go into like all the- You already started. Crazy, all the crazy stuff I used to do as a kid, but I was like, I, I knew stuff that I wasn't supposed to know. You know, something like Maniac is um, it's sexual, super sexual. Mm -hmm. And it's a theme that I feel like been running through your music. I remember, you know, in 2011 on Selling Souls, um, you had this song called Ho. You had this lyric on there that, that was just so striking and kind of made me a fan of you very early when you say, don't be scared of my aggression. Mm -hmm. Just don't want you to get the wrong impression. Don't be scared of my aggression, huh? Just don't get the wrong impression. I hope she don't think. I feel like that's key here. When, when it's almost like it, it's, it's cool for guys to talk about sex right. and music and nobody bats an eye. Right. And then when women do it and express themselves, right. it's all type of judgment. Because you've been in the music business right. a very long time, even before Sailing Souls. We right. know you were on tour and associated with B2K, and there was the major label. And were you this aware back then? Was it something that developed? I you know, was sort of thrown into it. It wasn't really something that I like really worked for. I was just young and I, you know, was, it was like a relationship type of thing. My mom knew this person and we did this and it was just like, yeah, I love to sing. Yeah, I'll sign a, a contract. But, but when as an artist did you find kind of that freedom and, and be able to block out what everybody says, you know right. what, this is who I am. I feel like I've, I have had periods where I felt it more than others. Like when I did my mixtape. My daughter was like one or two and I wasn't signed or anything so I had the freedom to like take my time. In the EP and the album I was more like concerned you know about like well what do people expect of me and what do people want from me and blah blah blah. I, I would say where I found true confidence and freedom and just like totally like I'm gonna do me this year really. aware of, you know, opinions. If I'm pleased with it, then that's all that matters. This Ish. looks like definitely something that I want to wear. It's a through line between your entire discography. Yeah. Everybody has sex. Right. Um, you know, <laughs> almost every. I know well, a couple, okay. a couple people in the comments, <laughs> I don't know if they're actually, you know, living their life like that. But no, you know, it's a natural part of life mm -hmm. and, and, and we've been singing about it since right. the beginning of the time. My whole thing is like, there's a few sides of me, but I would say that things that tend to come out a lot are when I'm sad or angry. And then there is the sexual part, which as a Pisces woman, we are, they say that it's Scorpio. That's the- That's what I heard. Uh, I would say it's the Pis at Pisces, cause we're like very like, I don't know. You just go find you a Pisces. Oh, it's getting a little yeah. naughty. Whoa. Do you and those, are these toys something that? Um, you get into us? 
I've tried before. Like I said, I'm maybe I'm not there yet with my in my adulthood because I'm just like, well, I just want the real thing. You know, you see a lot of like younger artists like talking about sex and stuff like that, but it's like you are 23, like, you know, I just feel so so grown right, right. now, you know, that I'll be like, you don't even know, like you haven't had as many years as I have had. <laughs> You know, songs again like the vapors, like the opening track. I remember like listening to it for the first time, and when the hook came, it just can I hit it again? And bed piece, even bed piece was just like, and with the video. I, I was afraid of you in the worst <laughs> video. You were in the lingerie. You had just killed your man, mm -hmm. and you were eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich and drinking red wine. I don't mean to, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, but I love you. It ended up being so many songs that I, I split them into the EP and the album. I wanted to ex explore every type of sound that I've ever liked. Me and Fisticuffs, who we work closely together all the time, we would literally just get in the studio and just like, they would start a little part of the beat and then I would just start singing and we would be high. And we were like, yeah, you know, just, I would just say something there like, that's tight, like, you know, and we would just keep going, going. I think when you talk about like, just that raw kind of like emotion mm -hmm. and almost a folk vibe is on, you know, the comfort in like. Yeah. But I told you not to trust these hoes. What was that session like? I feel like that, like, oh. it sounded like it was freeing or something. The only thing I wrote down were the names. Dominic Brandon. Yeah. I, it was basically a freestyle. What's funny is I had like a whole bunch of names and I'm like, well, I had like a category, like these guys fucked up. These guys, I like, don't deserve to be in the song. I don't even want to give them like, any like shine. Back then I was always going through crazy like relationship like shit. <laughs> Look at them now. Where they at? I have no idea. You started off the year with a bang. 2016, um, you and Big Sean mm -hmm. dropped 2088. Yeah. And, and it was this story of, of relationships and sex and love, and, and we got, you know, a, a mini movie with it. Talk about going into that project because that, that just like took a creative turn. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. Everything I ever dreamed, cause I'm a fucking star. Me and Sean have been friends for a while. And so when he came to me with, with the idea, I was just like, yeah, like this sounds fun. This sounds like I can like explore different sounds and different topics that maybe I haven't really gotten to dive into. Like the real super sexy songs, like Two Minute Warning. I haven't written with a lot of people. Like I haven't co-written with a lot of people. So it meant like something to me that we actually like were compatible in that way to where we can like feed off of each other and like go back and forth. Bondage tape, you know, Maniac, I got to experience the mm. rope, which is a Japanese bondage like art form. It's not super harsh, like, like regular rope. We had an actual artist, he um, did it on me. While he was doing it, I'm like, oh, like, I can see how people get pleasure out of this. When you start writing this song, Maniac, <laughs> what happened that day? What was going on that day that you went into the mm. studio? I played it for detail. Mm. Him, him and me sat down and wrote two verses, and I played it for Sean. It was some stuff that he, that he wanted me to say that I was like, no, I'm not gonna say that, I'm gonna say this. What was Sean's reaction? Because I, I could just imagine a woe there. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, when that comes. No, he but, loved it. Yeah. He loved it. Is there one specific lyric that, that he contributed to that you could tell us? Like, Dick Long is a ruler. As long as a ruler, you the ruler. Don't tell nobody else, that's the ruler. He, cause he was, he knows that, you know, that's how I like him, so. Shout out to Sean, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't want, I don't want to see my man in that. I have to try a pair of these. Just easy access. Cause it just feels like, you're gearing up for something that's, that's something big. What are we foreshadowing with, with, with Maniac? I, mean, I like to really take my time and like 
put the pieces together, like create the pieces and then put the pieces together to have this big picture. And I would say 2017, you will see the big picture. One song, like Maniac, like it took so long to really, for me to feel like, okay, it's, it's fine. We can like share it now. And that's how I am with every single song. So you could imagine like one project for me is like, it's gonna, you know, just take all my effort and energy. And that's how I like it. <laughs>